Bud Light is a brand that is all about lighthearted fun on social media. Their brand presence on social media invites users to share a smile and a Bud Light. The content on their Facebook and Instagram is very similar as the platforms share many of the posts. A lot of their pictures come from their users. This user-generated content shows Bud Light being enjoyed by drinkers. And that's exactly what the brand is trying to promote about themselves. They want consumers to think that by having a Bud Light, they'll have a good time. YouTube is a video sharing website that is owned by Google. Viewers spend more than a billion hours watching video each day, with 400 hours of video being uploaded every minute. There is a lot of clutter to cut through if a brand really wants to stand out to the more than 1.9 million monthly active logged in users. More than 70% of YouTube watch time is done through mobile devices. Adults aged 18 to 49 are spending more of their prime time viewing hours on YouTube than any cable network. YouTube is the place where stories come to life. The platform offers great potential in relationship building, proving authenticity, and loyalty devotion. On YouTube, Bud Light has 163,087 subscribers with a total of 105 posted videos. Their channel banner is the Bud Light King, right up there. Which, if you know Bud Light's campaign, he's a very recognizable character. But if this is your first time visiting Bud Light, you might be confused as to who this person is and why they're there. So while he is consistent with Bud Light's marketing campaigns, it might be a little bit more helpful to have something that is more easily recognizable to new users. The company's About section tells viewers exactly what they can expect from the channel. They are a channel that is building friendships one beer at a time and is dedicated to sharing the fun through video. Links are posted that direct clickers to the official rules of engagement as well as becoming a subscriber of the page and the important links to the brand's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and main website. They are missing an email address, however, which limits the brand in ways users can communicate. Their thumbnails for each of the videos represents each video pretty well. It takes a snapshot of what the viewer can expect to see and displays a picture that relates to the video itself. With 90% of the best performing videos on YouTube having custom thumbnails, it is important that Bud Light is able to incorporate this practice. During each of the videos, there is a subscription link that instantly subscribes viewers to the Bud Light channel. At the end of the video, the up next screen is filled with other Bud Light videos. But the ending screen does not encourage viewers to subscribe or direct them to other channels on YouTube to promote external links that encourage further engagement. The only watermark type image that appears in the videos is the subscribe button in the bottom right of each screen. In terms of earning loyal subscribers, Bud Light doesn't really do anything extra aside from posting videos. They don't ask people to subscribe or feature videos with high subscribe rate. They have their videos categorized in the playlist, playlist section based on the campaign style. Their campaigns have focused on a couple of key phrases. For the many, not the few, the Bud Night, and Dilly Dilly. Their titles are always very simple. They all start with Bud Light and then a simple line that relates to the video, usually a memorable line from each video. So if someone is looking online and searches for a memorable line, it can be found. The descriptions are pretty basic too. They're typically one or two sentences that describe the video and don't encourage any kind of engagement, don't have a call to action, don't have links to other social channels, and is completely void of keywords that could be used to help boost the video and search results. Overall, their videos get a decent amount of views with the Miller Lite response video at 2.8 million views after it was posted only three weeks ago. Miller, Miller, Miller. I have been made aware of your recent advertisement. I brought you your shipment of corn syrup and this is how you repay me? Look, if you're this set on imitating our kingdom, may I suggest also imitating us by putting an ingredients label on your packaging? People want to know what ingredients are in their beer. But what do I know? I'm just the king of a kingdom that doesn't brew beer with corn syrup. Bud Light, brewed with no corn syrup. This video did stir up some controversy, so that is a big boost in viewers could be from all the excitement surrounding the video and the lawsuit Bud Light has found themselves in. But Bud Light knows their audience and knows that they don't want to be hearing about all that. So on their social platforms, they keep the tone lighthearted and entertaining. 
Their YouTube channel hosts their commercials where viewers can have a laugh and enjoy the stories. Bud Light isn't posting videos outside the typical commercial. Users aren't getting anything special from YouTube that they can't get from watching regular broadcast TV. But people can look at old campaigns and relive current campaigns. The stories within the campaigns can be very entertaining. It's important to Bud Light that their consumers are able to relate fun and entertainment with their brand. This is shown directly in their style of video. They're lighthearted and fun. So while their videos are fun and lighthearted, they aren't doing anything special to encourage engagement or foster participation. There are a couple of replies to their videos, but Bud Light doesn't respond back. They really just do post their videos and leave it at that. The comment style is not typical for their social channels. They don't reply to too many comments, but enough to make their presence known and make some users feel that real relationship. But that's just on Facebook and Instagram. On YouTube, they have no two-way communication. That can make subscribers feel left out of the conversation. There isn't a strong relationship being built. After analyzing their Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels, it seems clear that Facebook brings out the best brand practices. Bud Light is telling us some fun and lighthearted stories on YouTube, but that's where their conversation ends. There is very little user engagement between the brand and the consumer. While viewers can get involved with the brand on other social channels through their About section, there isn't much involvement. Considering they have over 100,000 subscribers, you would think that they would be more dedicated to making an impact to those viewers. Overall, their videos are fun and enjoyable to watch, but more work needs to be done if Bud Light wants to build long-lasting relationships.